being popular or successful can sound like a good thing. But there is also the negative side. And this is also true in the world of customizations. Especially with the Honda CB750. With so many projects based on this model, it starts to be very hard to find something very innovative. But I can assure you, this one is on that category. You just need to wait to see what is underneath. Welcome to Racer TV. What a beautiful machine, isn't it? It may look simple, but still so appealing. I won't say it looks completely different from most CB series project approaches. But I can assure you, it has some unique and subtle features that makes it look better than most. This is another great work from Ivan Mushev and his team from Bulmoto Custom located in Bulgaria. I am sure most of you still remember them from these two projects I presented in the past. So, here is a good question. Is this bike really beautiful? Or are these excellent photos leading us to think so? Let's make the test. To be honest, I think seeing this bike in a completely normal background enhances its beauty even more. It is really a stunning motorcycle. Like I said, a stunning motorcycle, in every way. You probably didn't notice, but there are two different versions of the paint job. This is the initial version with two stripes. But due to a small accident during the transportation from Moto X per Sofia, the bike had to be repainted. And so Ivan decided to try a different paint scheme, adding these relatively discrete stripes on some sections. Personally, I like both versions. But I recognize the first version was probably too discreet. Speaking about discretion, there are a lot of modifications on this project, most people won't notice. However, those same subtle changes are the ones that make the difference. Most of you are probably wondering, what fuel tank is this one? And this transition explains everything. The project started with the 1977 CB750K7. The bike was in very bad shape, with the engine disassembled for parts. Some of them missing, including the entire front section. And so Ivan saw this as an opportunity, to try a different suspension. The front end, came from a 2006 Suzuki SV1000. Definitely a very good choice. Because it is modern, the forks are way stronger, and it still looks classic. According to Ivan, this modification was not as simple as it may look. Considering he wanted to maintain the original front hub, disc, and brake caliper, several new custom pieces were required, just to allow everything to fit on the new suspension. 
Another important change is the size of the rims. The CB750 originally had a 17 inches wheel at the rear and 19 inches at the front. But to achieve a good horizontal stance and to fit the front tire on the new suspension, both wheels now have 18 inches. Interestingly, the rims are Harley Davidson items just to ensure a more vintage look. I've always heard that making a custom oil tank is more complicated than most people think. And Ivan accepted the challenge and made it in a unique way. It was designed to look like a continuation of the engine block. And I think it worked great. As I said earlier, the engine was in a very bad shape. This means that the Bull Moto team had to replace almost everything. No wonder the engine sounds so good. So, what can I say about this beautiful rear end? The first time I saw it, it reminded me of something. But I didn't know exactly what. Only later, I understood what was missing. Ivan designed the rear, inspired on the old classic Ford Mustang. Notice how the frame structure was nicely sculpted to match the rear cowl. And also this bump at the top, continuing the shape of the fuel tank. And now, the most awaited moment, that I never presented on this channel before. Here it is. A custom made battery. Believe it or not, these orange cylinders, are what constitutes a 12 volts battery. 8 cylindric lithium iron phosphate batteries screwed together on two sections. Although they are widely used in electric vehicles, they can also be used in motorcycles with electric starters. This is by far the best solution I've ever seen to hide a battery on most bike customizations. Another interesting detail is the usage of this wiring strap, which came from an elevator. In what concerns to this fuel tank, I was very surprised, to see how beautiful it looks, on this awesome cafe racer machine. A very rare choice, among all other Honda CB projects. There are a lot of other details, I won't mention for a matter of time. But I think you captured the essential of this build. I always admired most of Ivan's works, for its unconventional choices. And this brilliant Honda, proves precisely that. It's not completely different from the majority. But it's different enough, to capture a lot of attention, wherever it goes. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.